Hey guys, Jenlux here, back with our blind playthrough of Seiken Densetsu 3. So, yeah, the game is a little weird, right? Like, I don't, I don't, it's very love or hate with me, this game, I mean. It is, it is very, very love or hate, because there's some things that I, overall, I like the game, but do not click. Maybe that'll... Uh, Firefox was just doing some stupid crap. Alright, so... Right now we're gonna go for... We're gonna kill some stuff, because we're pretty close to getting a level, I think. Like, I, I guess it's... A, Well, I mean, you know, like I, like I said. You know, I've, I've listed my complaints. That's not a... I've listed them. It's just a question of whether they're going to drive me crazy or not. You know? <laughs> gulp, gulp. Son of a bitch. It's me. I was kind of thinking about this afterwards, actually, that... Maybe the game would benefit from being slower, right? Because Secret of Mana was definitely very fast-paced. It had this, you know... Wait. What do you mean the path opened up? Okay, was there something over here? That's odd. Well, okay. I mean, I guess we'll, uh... Let's save. Let's save, I guess. You know, as, as far as flow goes, I think Secret of Mana kind of... I, it had its problems as well, don't get me wrong, but I think... It was fast, and the majority of stuff was... Like, your your hits weren't doing a lot of damage, but your characters would just go at the enemy, and, and so eventually you'd, you'd kill it. I guess the, uh, this stairway up there... This... Is this where we came from? Please tell me it did. I can't even really remember. I know we came down something like this. I, I guess we'll see. We'll figure it out. I, I ran. I tried to hurry because we were at the end of the last episode. But but as, as far as this case with how things seem to be... You know, hits seem to be a little bit harder. Spells seem to... You know, be, the spells are cast a little bit slower, right? You can't, for example, you can't stun lock. You can't, you know, repeatedly cast. I think this is the way we came. You know, even magic, like, there's less of it. There's less choices as far as um, weapons. The Secret of Mana was, was faster, and you had all these different weapons and stuff, and they were constantly gaining levels. So it is the Poto. Okay, well, now I know. Uh, your weapons were gaining levels, your, your spells were gaining levels, your characters were gaining levels. All in all, it just seemed a lot... like higher tempo. This... the actual, like, physical portion feels fast. But it's not. It's very slow and deliberate, even though it it feels fast. I it just I don't know. I, I guess I would just say I would want it to be consistent across all areas. But who knows? I mean, I'm, you know, I'm talking on my butt a little bit, and uh, I don't know. 
you know, they're, they're trying something different. And that's okay. Oh my gosh. We have... Enemies keep coming in. Yeah, even the, uh... Even, like, in battle, your, your actions were faster. You could run. You could just straight up run if you didn't want to. Here, you, you can't. You have to. Oh, alright, well. Uh, let's do strength. We'll focus on strength and vitality first, and then whatever else we'll stick into. Maybe luck? We didn't get a... Man, I'm so confused now. I think we came this way, and I think we went... I think to the right was a dead end. And then we went down. Oh, Mama Poto! Alright, victory. Let's just double check, make sure the right is, uh... Still closed? Yes, it is. So it's... Yeah. I don't know. Like I said, listing some of my complaints. This will be, I think, one of those things where you kind of... I don't know, you just deal with it. Just deal with the bad stuff. I mean, that's how you, what, that's what you have to do anyway, but... You know, you just kind of hope, like most games, that the good outweighs the bad. We'll see. I guess we'll see. That's all. <laughs> so where did this... Now that we killed these things, where did it open up? Oh, wait. How did you heal everybody? Or was it using the poto oil? Oh, I hate you so much. All right, we'll kill these dudes, kill this dude, whatever. And then we'll, we'll kind of figure out what after this, right? Said there was something that opened up, but very odd. Okay, but where? Down? Um... That's... It's kind of the thing. It's like these guys take so long to kill. Let's kill the kill the photo. And and but you used heal light. I can't heal everyone with one hit. With one spell. Why can you? That's kinda of bold. That's unacceptable. Are you kidding me? Especially when you're healing yourselves for, what, a hundred? And I'm only hitting for... 
16. Don't attack that guy. This is ridiculous. Are you, are you kidding me here? There we go, Jesus Christ. And for that you get, what, 30 something experience? Like, uh, I'm just too tired to be dealing with this BS. Right, so the annoying thing is like, I don't know where the path opened up, but I'm spending, what am I, spending like five minutes fighting these dudes? Just, just to explore. Just to freaking explore. Like that's, and then what if this is the wrong way? What if I need to go back in or, or there's a, where, uh, where did you come from? Well, at least you get to hold the A button for your, or B button or whatever for your fatal attack. At least that's something. All right, well, so this is not open. There's like a way over here or here. Is this the right way? I don't know. We're gonna, um, looks like no. So let's just go. Yeah, I mean... Oh, come on. Alright. Let's go kill these things. Maybe gain a level. And then go save. I just, like, I know I'm gonna need to grind, or maybe I don't need to grind, but, you know. Uh, no, not, not that. It's just, it's one of those things that helps out, but... Uh, it's just so tedious. Yay. All right, Ogre Box. Uh, hmm, I thought I used my, uh, my fatal attack. I saw it at the bottom, like all lit up. Arg, or whatever it said. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe we should. Never mind, it's toast. Oh, right on. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, vitality, I think, might be good. Um. So hard. Mm. I just wish I knew why, like, sometimes it would lock you out of it and other times it wouldn't. Um, we'll do vitality. Get that, that extra one hit point or whatever. All right. Uh, okay, can I just run past these dudes now?
I assume it's the path down here. Is this the path that opened up, or which one? Uh, maybe down. I wish I could just run. Oh, they're both going down. Well, okay, let's uh, let's try it. Um, okay. I. Oh my god, see, this is what I mean, like, how long does this go? Wait, where does this go then? This loops around? Okay. Um. Alright. I'm really gonna be annoyed if one of these, or most of them, you have to defeat for more paths to open, but... The problem is, this is like a maze, and I, I hate fighting these enemies. Okay, well that's stairs. All right, we'll, we'll take this. This is probably the right way, though. What is Carly's... Okay, yeah, let's get her... ...upgraded. Because hopefully we just go north and then there's another... ...the boss and presumably the, uh... ...the way out. It's like... Like, I don't mind fighting, but it's just, it just feels so tedious at this point. And maybe that's because, I mean, maybe I'm underleveled, but it seems like they're gaining levels with me. And so it's entirely possible it's like the Oblivion problem where, uh, if you, if you min-max your stats, you're good. But if you don't, you get screwed. I couldn't tell you. I'm really wondering if that's the case. Oh, you didn't min-max your stats. There was another game that I wanted to play, uh, kind of like that. What was it called, though? It was called Spaz? Space Pirates and Zombies. And it, yeah, if you, the company name was Min Max in Games or something like that. And if you didn't Min Max, you were basically hosed. And it's just like, that's not, that's not fun for me. It's not fun for me. Other people, I'm sure, like, you know, they get all up in there. What is this? That is an attack from Chrono Trigger. Was that not the last enemy in this area? Oh, it's below us. Oh, a couple. Uh, Angela. I haven't even had any of my drink. It's been 20 minutes. Sake and orange juice. The sake by itself is fine, but I'm trying to get more vitamin C, so. Figure that's a good way. Good way, good as a way as. <laughs> as good of a way as any.
Okay, so... Um... Let's do more vitality. It's terrible. It's a terrible idea, probably, but... Again, it's like... It's almost like we're doing physical stuff first. Maybe I should just pick two. You know what I mean? Rather than kind of stacking it, just be like, okay, I'm gonna put a point of vitality every time, and then spirit after that. Is, I mean, I assume this is the right way. Let's just, let's just keep going, I guess. Oh my god, we have to kill this thing, don't we? Yeah. I mean... AI is... Well, it's not bright, but... It's hard. AI is hard to do. See, we all seem to basically attack at the same time, which is... Why... And we're all going off the same rolls and stuff. We're all missing, we're all... What is going on with this? 58. That's awesome. I almost guarantee there's a boss in there. It just looks like a boss area. Well, let's... let's find out. A vampire, huh? Who's there? I'm Jagan. I've come to follow through with the Dark Prince's prophecy to end your lives. Red Eyes. You're the one the slave trader was talking about. Give Elliot back! So, you must be a sister. I can't give Elliot back. The Dark Prince requires him. I wonder if the Dark Prince is this, uh... The God Beast. Who's this Dark Prince, and what have you done to Elliot? Hehehe, <laughs> I tell you, but you're about to die anyway. This volcano will erupt at any minute. Oh no, the volcano, it's erupting! So it's not a boss. We're gonna get saved by... By whatever they call it. There he is. What's that? Is he here to rescue us? And he nodded. It's like a kappa. Well, that's the volcano. Wow. Oh yeah, he's swimming. Right on. Very tropical Jamaican sounding. We're still trying to get back to Forsen, all right? Oh, there's a desert area. And then that's presumably the Holy Land. So where are we going? Where is this area? It's like a... Right, right, he's going to the beach just below... Thank you for saving us. There he goes. I love how he's got like his shell as a backpack. That's adorable. Everyone, I'm I'm sorry to have taken so much of your time with the Rolante struggle. Let's hurry back to the King of Forsena to ask about the other monostones. Uh do I click? Oh, right. They nod, I guess. That was weird. So, I've been here. Is this Maya? Ah, yes.
Well. Again. These little bastards. <laughs> Always, he's like, remember me! Oh, that worked. I, what is with... Jesus Christ! I think I need to restart my computer. Uh, no, not at the moment. We'll see. Where are we? Oh, Maya, of course. Of course. I saw the thing, but it was slowing down. I'm like, oh, so slow. Trying to read your note on the counter, dude. Why put a note out there if you don't want anyone to read it? Yeah. In all honesty, wait, wait, wait. Do I need to purchase any items? Was it this one? We are... we're good. Well then, probably should... Probably should heal up. Uh, morning's fine. <sighs> yeah, that area is so weird. The previous era that we were in. It was like... Before you get to the village of Dark Priests. Enemies are dying in like two hits. You go up a screen. All of a sudden you're spending like minutes fighting three enemies. It's just like... This weird... It's just weird. It's just weird. It's like there's a bug in that area or something. So how do we get that dude again? I set up the cannon travel routes, but it seems like everyone's afraid to ride them. Well, yeah. Anyway, if you want to go to Forsena again, go out on back. Go on out back. Oh, I guess we should talk to Bonsoir. Bonsoir, Pee-wee! Bonsoir! Simone! Which one was that? Um... Pee-wee's Big Adventure? Great movie, by the way. Dumb! I mean, of course. Of course it's dumb, but it's... fun. Alright, Force Nail ready for launch. Yes! Doesn't seem like it costs anything, which is cool. It was weird because the map made it look like there was a, like a part missing from that, uh, like it was a, like a lock, right? Like the channel was, like there was like the channel, like the, or canal, Panama Canal, like. Alright, let's go talk to the king. King Dick. Because it's King Richard. I know, I know, it's terrible. I'm terrible. I have... I don't even I don't even know if my jokes are good enough to be called dad jokes. Maybe they're just bad dad jokes. Oh, hey, right on. By the king's orders, we are suppressing the movements of Altena and other nations. I hope this will be enough to help for you. Good luck. I hope it's enough to help for me as well. It probably is. Rumor has it the energy has already been released from the Monastone near Altena. We must hurry. Wouldn't that release the God Beast, though? You've returned, and with you are the spirits of light, earth, wind, and darkness. How do you know? 
You still have four more to retrieve. I'm counting on you. Okay. Is it smoking? Like, what's going on right there? The Monostone of Water is in Altena, in a cave south of the snowfields. Oh, okay, so that's Altena. That's not the Mana Holy Land. Oh, maybe it's already been, yeah, maybe it's already been used then. You'll find Undine there, but be careful, the stone's energy has already been released. Ooh, we're going all the way down to the bottom. That's probably Navarre. South of the Desert of Scorching Heat lies the Valley of Flames. There, you'll find the Monostone of Fire and its guardian spirit, Salamando. And... Where is this? Southeast of here, you'll find the Moonlight Forest and the Monostone of the Moon. The beastmen inhabiting that area are quite strong, so be prepared. So that's gotta be Luna. And then what's this one? The Monostone of Wood is in the Forest of Wonder, but it's inaccessible by land. South of that is the Lampflower Forest and the Elf Village of Dior. Okay, so that was the, uh, the second save file on this cartridge, shall we say, is, uh, <laughs> had a save in, uh, in Dior. I assume we're gonna have to go get these in order, right? So Dior is probably the last one. The Fairy King lives in Dior. He knows more about the Monostone. The giant turtle that carried you from Buka is known as Buskabu. He normally doesn't interact with people, but perhaps he knew you were chosen by the fairy. I have a flute that was once used to summon Buskabu, but it hasn't been used for ages. But now, if you go to a beach and play the flute, he should come. Go now, take it. Yeah, Pihiara flute. Too many items. I'll keep this here until you have room. All right, well, let's get rid of the chibi devil's eye. I need to get more poto and mana, mama poto oil. Definitely more of that. All right, Pihara flute. What's up, dude? They're lying low for now, but Altena's ultimate goal is to control all eight monostones. Well, they're gonna have a hell of a time finding shades. By the way, how do they control them? My gosh. So is Altena the one behind it? So what about, um, Bijou? Bijou was Navarre. Then there's the Beastmen. So, well, I mean, these guys are controlling Altena, at least. Okay. I need more coffee. I just need more. Just more, you know. All right, um, right, so we get the flute. He's gonna tell us to go to, uh, no. I mean, actually, maybe we should. Can we leave the castle? 
Oh, no, we want we do want to leave the castle because there is that um There's the the place with the hammer. Or yeah, yeah, I mean the place with the the I mean, you know. Item C. Fair enough. I don't know where it is, but it's where we met Duran. There's that other statue. Oh, I didn't mean to go that way. What's in the hole? Okay. I don't understand why Angela went, like, down to the lower right. That makes no sense, but... Uh, what do you think? Left? I mean, we don't have a choice, but the question is which left? Not that one. Mm, let's try this one. Okay, or not. Cool. There's probably a faster way. Okay. Can I talk to the tree? No. It's gonna be a real pain in the ass to get back to Forsen. There, there it is. Okay. Um. Okay, well. So, I mean, I guess the problem is. It's probably like a story thing, right? Because the first one was similar. And then, um... And then we use... This is even before we used the hammer, right? We clicked on the thing and it moved the, the trees to the side. Chibiko! But still no. And now we're normal size again. Is there another thing that we have to do? I don't know. Well. So... Did I come from down? Yes. Okay, so we have four stones to get. One, the wood, is inaccessible by land, which means... I know Flammy's in this, at least according to the instruction manual. So that is out for now. Altena is probably the first one to go through or go for. because it's the closest. <sighs> um, 
Ornier Navarre. What I'd like to do is get to level 18. Aw, oh, man. Get to level 18, go back to the wind place, and, uh... You know, and then get a class change. But I, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see, because we're not getting very much experience at all. And, um... Well, I mean, we'll just have to see. We will have to see. All right, well, back in the country, back in the city, whatever. Twelve, oof. That's a lot of sixes. A lot of, <laughs> you know, a lot of uh, six experience dudes. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, we could go back to Maya and then just get on the Booskaboo. Oh, we can't use it. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. Let's go to Maya. I wonder if I can go back to the volcano island. Why, uh, why are we so hurt? Did I really take that much damage? Maybe. Um. Aha! Even though it's in storage, we can still use it. Let's get some sleep. Monoholy day. Yes. All right. We have a few minutes left. Let's go... Let's go call Booskaboo. We have places to go. You little bastard. I've got your number. Oh! Oh well. That was what it was. That was what caused me to take so much damage. Now I remember. Well, I mean, that's why you have luck. Probably that's the whole point of the luck stat. All right. What's up, dude? All right, well, so forward, forward and back, left and right turn. 
Um, and then... Okay, so confirm or cancel. That probably lands, I would assume. Oh, no, you just drive into the... You just drive into a beach and he automatically lands. Okay, so... A... The A button... Is the horn? I guess it's the horn. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I just hit forward, I assumed he'd be pointing out to sea, not pointing at the beach, but... That's fine. The flute brings flashbacks of Illusion of Gaia. Or Illusion of Time if you're in Europe. I think, given the plot, both uh, are correct. Okay, so, do... These buttons don't do anything, the X and Y. What about L and R? Nope, start and select. Okay, select gets rid of the maps. And those are your four hot spots. The four stones. See, this is weird, right? Because there's this little place. This little island has like a little beach. Um, that's a town. Inaccessible by land, but there's a beach right there. Where is that? Um, huh, I don't know. Okay, well, let's go check out this little island, right? Let's check this one out. Island of Oblivion. That doesn't sound good. I've saved, though, so we're all right. Or I've saved recently. Uh-oh. Not only is the name scary, but... Oh, you can't touch any of these. Or at least they don't save. Is this like the final dungeon? Right, like the... You jump off the cliff and... It's gonna shoot like a beam of light up into the sky or something like that. It takes you to the Mana Fortress. Who knows? It might not even be um, this route, right? Because I know, from my understanding, basically the whole game is the same except for the final dungeon and... There's a unique dungeon in the middle, I think. But maybe even the unique dungeon is not always the same. Maybe it's not even always there. Maybe only one of the three paths has the unique dungeon. Who knows? Alright, um... There's Jack. He's happy. Well, let's go check out the, the Buca. I'm also curious to see what happens. Oh, you can't turn while you're going forward. Is that a spot to land? No. Oh yeah, you do go faster in the deep blue in the water. Man, he swims like a champ. Getting flammy would be awesome. Partially, I want to come back to the island because... Where is this? Wait, is there no beach? Well, that's crap. There was a beach. We landed on one. 
guess. I mean... Okay. Well, all right, where to? Um, well, okay, so this is uh, Rolante. What are these little islands? Not anything I can land on, that's for sure. Or was this the Rolante area? No, it must be by land. All right, well, let's check out, um, what is this area? I don't know, but it's really close to, uh, this is probably Jad. Watch this be Jad. It certainly looks like Jad to me. Yep. Okay, well... Let's run out into the countryside and kill some stuff, maybe. Jack's cleaning himself. Level 8. I mean... You know. Man, that does remind me of, uh... Battletoads. One experience. Yeah, so I'm going to go with my main goal right now being just to get to level 18 for each of the characters and then get a class change. So let's go to Altana, I guess, because it's close, close is close, close ish, closer. What do you think he eats? Aren't aren't Kappa supposed to like sake? I gotta say, I mean this maybe sounds weird, right? Let's let's go here and hopefully we won't die. Um I think this is the area that's supposed to be inaccessible by land, but we'll see. I, I mean, I'm glad to be alive in this time because lamp flower forest. A strange plant blocks your path. I don't like the look of this. Let's go someplace else. We need maybe the fire to get through here. Or maybe Luna, if it's lamp flower. I wonder if you need to do these in a specific order. But, um, yeah, not only... I, I feel like... I feel kind of blessed to have grown up along with video games. To see them as... I mean, I wasn't... I don't think I was alive when, when Pong, you know, first came out and whatnot. Maybe I was. I don't, I don't know the actual years. But, um... You know, to, to see, like, Atari and, and that stuff kind of... Um, where the hell is the beach? Um, but to see that stuff, like, come from, from nothing. And what's over here, by the way? Can I go here? Doesn't look like it. But to see all that, I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing. Because I think a lot of people today, like, kids... Or, um, or, or hell, even the average public. Like, people, unless you get into something, the average person just doesn't have taste, right? So, I imagine, um, like, the average person playing any kind of, uh, any kind of an older game would just be like, what is this stuff, retro graphics, Bleh. you know, or, or whatever, but... But older games, some of them are freaking amazing. Yeah, okay, we can't go through here. 
and um, I think some of them still hold up today. And that's why I think I've been kind of blessed, like to see, to see that. Plus, you know, doing this, I think it, oh, here we go, here we go. Here's the beach. Life's a beach. Is this the only one or is there one on the other side too? Oh, it's fine. Um, but in addition to that, like just the quantity of alcohol, quantity of quality alcohol, Snow City L Rand. Christmas trees. It's amazing. Where's Santa? What's with the What's with the sound? Maybe it's loading, quote unquote. I don't know, Super Nintendo did slow down. Or go west through the sub-zero snowfield and you'll come across a maze of ice. I hear the Queen of Reason gets her magic energy from a monostone located there. Interesting. Funny, Elran used to be a warm, temperate place like Altena, thanks to the Queen's magic. Now it's back to cold again. Has she abandoned us? Maybe. You must be cold dressed like that. Stay here and warm up for a while. Magic Kingdom of Altena is west of here, beyond the Sub-Zero Snowfield. Right. We have a... Item and weapon shop. We'll probably... Oh, hey, there's a dude. Let's go talk to the dude. Because it's daytime now. Sub-Zero Snowfield is just south of here, but there's a colony of monsters there now. Alright, well... That's great. When you plant a seed in the pot at the inn, it grows instantly. It's amazing. This is the Snow City Elrand. Thanks. There's more and more icebergs every day. I wonder when the next ship will be able to arrive. Never. So why did all these trees have Christmas lights if it used to be a non-snow area? What? No more ships are coming? Well, I didn't say that. Okay, we've read that. That's the pub. So that's the way out into the snowfield. Which weapon shop? May as well check out the shops. Alright, welcome. Alright, what do we have? Crystal rod. Glaive. Yes. Duck Iron Ball. Crystal Rod. Uh, we'll get the armor first. That way we can equip everything all at once. In, no, not yet. Random house, sure. Mmm, I'm hungry. Me too. I don't know how many times Grandma has to eat before she's full. Um... Don't ask me. Sai, I only have one child and I can't help but wonder if I'm spoiling her. Well... Is that the child? What is this? Mama, over here! Only one child. Yeah, they say single single children are uh, generally kind of spoiled. But who knows? I guess it all depends on how you raise them. Items and armor. Let's see the items first. All the same. Rose Leotard, huh? Scale mail and velvet cape. Okay. Um. 
yeah, let's head to the inn. We'll equip the stuff real fast, and then we will stop. Move, Grandma! Move! Out of the way, old lady! I'm gonna knock you down and break your hip. <laughs> That's so terrible. Yeah, hip fractures are no joke. Apparently they hurt a lot. Alright, glaive, bam. Okay. Switch. That's photo suit to velvet cape. Crystal rod and rose leotard. Okay. Um Sure. Uh, morning's fine. Alright. Our next goal, next episode at least, is gonna be to get to level six level eighteen. I was gonna say sixteen, because I looked and saw sixteen, but eighteen. Eighteen is what I want. Okay. Alright guys, well that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I'm still having fun. I complain a lot. I know this, but but I have fun. Um, what is your guys' unique positive moment today? For me, where did Jack go? No, he's right. Right here. Oh, he's looking at me. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you're trying to reach for me. Why are you doing this? Um, no, I saw like a little part of an interview uh, of Steve Allen. I think that's his name. He's the guy that started. One one of these shows was the, the, the Tonight Show. One of those late night talk shows. He's the one that started it back in the 50s or 60s, I guess. Um, and he was talking about how how important uh, parents raising their children is, and how he, when he was a a young adult, basically he left home and hitchhiked around the country and got to the point where he was starving to the point where he would eat out of the trash. And uh, hearing some of that stuff is is pretty crazy, and it makes me. It's a really interesting perspective, and I like... It just lets me think a little bit, you know? Um, but that's that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care. <laughs>